Hey, what's up everybody? Esam here bringing you another video. This one another tier list video, but not 21 through 30. But I'm going to do my bottom 10 in Smash 4 as of the 1.1.0 patch. So the first of these two bad characters is Dr. Mario. Just mediocre combo game. That's why it wasn't kind of nice. Immediately starting out the gate right there with a cape into a grab. Awful recovery. Hitting that up smash. That's oh, it. out of shield. There we go. Big punch you. There we go. Shout out to Tony, man. Worse up smash than Mario because less in vulnerability, I'm pretty sure. And he knows when it's going to kick in and clip. And a great trade right there. He's a very, very not threatening character at like any point. He's just he's just bad. Isam's falling into two. Oh, my God. That is going to finish right there. Oh, Lord. Get dunked on Kobe is in the building. I'm telling you, the knuckles coming through. I ain't talking about Sonic. But like anytime someone picks Dr. Mario, you can literally just be like, you know what? I'm just going to like... You turn them to a computer and be like, I'm gonna raise you a lot, a bunch of tears and just do that. Like, Doc is so bad. He's so bad. Oh, okay. So if I just the wrong oh, way, put the down flash, he's gonna and take it. Gonna take and it. Easy stuff from Nairo, man. Coming back from that 3 1 earlier to straight up 3 0 Esam. Lord have mercy, that boy. Hey, what's up, everybody? Esam here bringing you another video. And this one's going to be part three of my tier list video. That character is going to be Toon Link. Um, in my opinion, I don't think he's in the top 15 area. He is in the thing below it. Um, again, his grab is pretty good if you're at kill percents. Otherwise, it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty awful. Um, he has his camping, but I feel like a lot of people let him get away with his camping for no reason. Like, you can kind of, you can throw moves out at Boomerang and hit it. You can also catch bombs pretty easily, because the bombs don't probably push it too fast. He can get kill confirms off of it, like bomb into forward air, bomb into up air, bomb into read your air dodge. Forward smash, forward smash is absolutely frightening. But the thing is, a lot of people also just don't know how to edge guard tether recovery, which is a problem, and one of the reasons that I will talk about in your guys' opinion on this list. Um, but it's just, it's one of those things. Hey, what's up everybody? Esam here bringing you another video. This one going to be talking about floating through the pools. Um, for those of you that don't know, floating, like pool floating is essentially when top players can avoid round one pools and just skip through them entirely and play in round two. I do not agree with some of the arguments that have been used in favor of pool floating, which is it helps tournament burnout, because I don't really get that because like it's nice to have to not really need the two to four hours, but it also like for the most part your pool is going to take 30 minutes of just be like, hey, I'm tired, can I go back and play my pool? Or can I play all my winners matches? And if you're a top player, your matches aren't going to take longer than like two and a half minutes. You know, two minutes per game at maximum. And you should be two owing everybody. You know, you're no, you know, you should be two owing everybody. You should be two owing everybody. You should be two owing everybody.